Horschel's algorithm is an input enhancement string matching algorithm that is more efficient than the brute force string matching algorithm because it is able to use a, a bad match table to skip certain comparisons by uh, having values that will tell you how many comparisons you're able to skip based on what is matching in the table. The first step of the algorithm is to create the bad match table. The second step is to compare the pattern to the text starting at the rightmost character in the pattern. And then if it is a mismatch, then the pattern will shift according to the value that is in the table. So uh, for this example, we're going to be using uh, the pattern kayak, and we're going to uh, be using the text, Austin wants to kayak outside. So to uh, fill out the bad match table, we're going to take uh, the length minus the index of, uh, of the value that we're looking at in our pattern minus one, and that will be our value for that element of the table. So first, uh, we're going to look at the K starting kayak. So the length of the pattern is five. Uh, the index of K is zero, and then we're going to subtract one from that, and that is going to give us four. Next, we're going to look at the A. Uh, with that, we will have five minus the index, which is one, minus one. So our value there will be three. Uh, the next letter we're looking at is Y, which will give us five minus two minus one. So that is gonna give us two for our value uh, in the Y. Then we're gonna look at A again. So the uh, length is five. We're going to subtract three minus one. So then, since we're so we have a new value for a, we're going to update our existing value uh, for what we just calculated to be, which would give us one. And then, for the last value in the table, we will uh, we will either have it be the value of the length, or if the character is already defined, we'll just use the existing value. In our case, uh, we already have a uh, definition for uh, if we find a K, and that is four, so we will leave it at that. And for all of the uh, patterns in this algorithm, uh, the value for the star, which represents any character other than a K, A, or Y, the value of that will be whatever the pattern length is. So for us, it will be five. So now we have the full uh, bad match table filled out. So we can take our pattern and line it up with the beginning of our text. And we're first going to look at the last character in our pattern. Then we're going to compare it to the corresponding uh, value in the text and see if it matches. So for us, K does not match I. And so we're going to uh, find I in our bad match table and shift our pattern according to that. So I is uh, not any of our predefined characters. So it falls under the star. So we know that we're going to shift the uh, pattern uh, by five spaces. Now our K lines up with N and those do not match. And according to our table, uh, if it is any character other than K, A, or Y, we will move it over five times again. So now we will compare K to O, still not a match. And again, it is a star. So we have another situation where we move it five. And now we're gonna compare K to A. 
there is not a match. But if we look for A in our bad match table, we do have a value for that, and it is one. So we are going to shift our pattern by one this time. And K lines up with K, so that matches. So then we, since we have a match, we will look at the next character. A matches up with A, so we'll look at the next one. Y matches Y. A matches A, and K matches K. So we have successfully found uh, the match for our string. Now, if we had it to where uh, we had our, uh, our pattern lined up to where our final character match, uh, like we would compare a K to a K, and that would match, we would then just look to the next uh, spot and uh, use that comparison to find our bad match uh, value. Uh, however, with this string, we, were, uh, we did not have to come across that, making it even easier to complete the algorithm. So uh, that is how you uh, use Horsebull's algorithm to do input enhancement with string matching. And uh, one fun thing about uh, doing this comparison is that Kayak was a palindrome, which typically with a palindrome, since it will have guaranteed repeating letters, you'll have smaller values in your bad match table because when you get to the later values in it, you're referring to ones that are already defined so you won't have large numbers to start out with. Um, and that is similar to how we originally had a value of three for A, but since we had to refer to the second A in it, that updated that value to a one, which had that come up uh, more often, it would make the, uh, the algorithm take slightly longer. But with this text that we had, it didn't, have many matches to the pattern, so it didn't come into play very much.